my channel. So today we have another week of what's for dinner. This week I kept it pretty simple. We had so much going on. So it's not really like anything new except for, I have one new recipe for you guys, which is, it's called Borsin Chicken. I don't know if it's pronounced Borsin or Borsaw. Um, but you know that little wheel of like Borsin cheese? that you see in the supermarkets all the time well i made that with chicken and it is so freaking amazing if you make anything from this video be sure to make that one because i'm in love with it and i think that's going to be like a regular thing for me i don't think that the girls would particularly like it so that night i made them something and then that's what i made for myself later on in the evening Sometimes I do that where I make the kids a dinner and then I make myself a dinner because I'm not eating childish stuff Like I'm too old for that and I'm not gonna force them to eat adult type foods like I get it You're a kid. You don't want to eat borsin and chicken. I want some fried chicken. I want some chicken nuggets I want like, you know stuff like that, but I'm grown baby I'm grown and I need my grown time and so I decided to make that for me and it was definitely the best thing I've eaten all week I'm in love and I'll definitely be making that again. So like I said, if you make anything from this video, that one, be sure to make that one. Um, if you have kids that are a little bit more open-minded, I'm pretty sure they would like it too. I ate it with mashed potatoes, but to be honest, like it would be so good with even like spaghetti, but like not with the red sauce, probably like Alfredo or something, or just like Parmesan butter noodles or something. I'm sorry, this girl just fell asleep out of nowhere. She was over here throwing a whole fit for like forever. So I'm hearing snoring in my ear and I'm like, that's her, she fell asleep. Okay, well anyways, she's at work with me today. We had so much running around to do this morning that I just, I was like, yeah, that's what we're doing for the day. So she fell asleep. Um, anyways, before we get into it, make sure that you give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. If you like these kinds of videos, I'm not very consistent. I'm going to be honest with you. I've got a lot going on in my life and I try to be consistent, but you know, real life kind of comes first. So I'm trying though. I'm trying my best, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into this week's what's for dinner. Hey everybody, it is Monday and tonight for dinner we're going to be doing some eggplant parm with some spaghetti noodles. So I got these frozen eggplant cutlets from Aldi. I had them frozen outside of the box because we're like low on freezer space. Um, but I did save the directions. I don't know why because it's like, it's pretty obvious you just kind of pan fry that or I mean I think I saved it for the oven directions but I'm still just gonna pan fry it and then I'm gonna assemble it like eggplant parm and I have my spaghetti noodles I have some water boiling right now to get that on and I will just show you the process Okay, so now my eggplant is done cooking, so I'm gonna assemble it to Parmesan. So basically what you do, you kind of just layer it like lasagna, essentially. Okay, ghetto spoon, yes, it's plastic. Whoa, whoa. Okay, just trying to spread the tomato sauce. Okay, so I'm gonna take a piece of the eggplant, put it on the bottom. And if it overlaps a little bit, that's all right. It's probably going to. All right, and then I'm just gonna pour some sauce over the top. Not fancy or anything, just kind of like splash it on there. I just realized like I'm recording right-handed and I'm using my right hand to do this. So I hope you guys can actually see. All right, there's that. So now I'm gonna put some cheese. I like a lot of cheese. That's up to you. Okay. And then I'm just gonna put my last 
plants on top of that. I'll kind of move that over and do it like that. Okay, then I'm going to put more sauce. Ew, it's salty on the can. Some more cheese on top of that. Okay, and then I'm just going to put Parmesan. That's why it's called eggplant Parmesan. Okay, so that looks like enough. <laughs> I don't need all of it. All right, so I'm just gonna pop this in the broiler until the cheese is melted. I also forgot to mention that I have these garlic and cheese breadsticks from Trader Joe's, so I'm just gonna heat these in the oven 350 for three to five minutes, and then that's it. All right, so my noodles are cooked, so I just put in some of this garlic butter, and I'm just gonna mix that through and let that melt up. Oh my goodness. And these are the girls' plates. So they both have some, some spaghetti. And I gave them a little bit of sauce on the top because I know they're going to want it. Um, they have a breadstick. I gave them just a little bit of the eggplant parm to try. And then they have blueberries because we had some in the fridge that are about to go bad. So they need to eat them up. I still smashed down the blueberries for Zaylee because it's still a choking hazard at her age. And yeah, I will show you my plate when I get to it. All right, and here is my plate. I chose not to have any tomato sauce on my noodles. I don't know why, I just love butter noodles. As it is, I put some of this pizza and pasta seasoning blend over the top, have my eggplant parm and my breadstick. And this is gonna be dinner for Monday. Hey everybody, it is Tuesday and tonight for dinner we're gonna be doing burrito bowls. I used to call them chipotle bowls. I didn't know that they actually have a separate name. They're called burrito bowls. Fancy. So I'm actually using ground beef. Got this off-brand ground beef. See, there's no brand. This came, okay, so my dad pastors at a church that runs a food pantry on Saturdays, and they always have leftover stuff that they don't really know what to do with, so they just kind of box it up and give it out to us. So my dad ends up getting a box, and then we always end up giving a box to the HHA workers that take care of my grandma, and then I take some stuff. So we have off-brand ground beef today. <laughs> Not that we don't have regular ground beef, but like I just, that's the only thing I saw in the front of the freezer to pull out for this. So I took that out last night. Um, got a little bit of rice left in this bag I'm gonna use up. That's gonna be the end of the rice. We got some cilantro for the rice with no lime. I have mad lemon. I have mad lemon and I have no limes. I thought I had limes. But I guess I just bought lemons. Where are you? Do you see the baby? She was just behind me. That quick. Okay. Got some Mexican style cheese for that. Also got some queso cheese. Oh, I have avocados in there. I'm going to make some guacamole. Got some black beans. This came in a HelloFresh box that I had ordered. I didn't end up using it for the recipe. Um, because actually they replaced the recipe that I had chosen and gave me a separate recipe and I didn't really like the idea of that. So I just used the ingredients individually for other things. And so I still have the black beans for that recipe. So I'm going to use that in this. Also got some lime flavored tortilla chips. I love this with my burrito bowls. So yeah, I'm actually going to pull out those avocados and make some guacamole too. So there's that. Hey. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my rice started and my ground beef started. I'm just doing it like basically like how you would do taco meat, cook it, season it, all that type of stuff. And I'm actually gonna mix the black beans in with it because if I put it on the side, the girls definitely are not gonna eat the beans. If I mix it in the meat, there's a better chance 
of them eating it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, so here is my ground beef. So I seasoned it with some of this garlic paste because I'm trying to get rid of it. It's like it lasts forever, I don't understand. It's not like minced garlic at all. It really doesn't like go away. And I also used some onion powder and some seasonal seasoning and some complete seasoning as well as this packet of hot taco mix. So I'm just kind of letting that cook down a bit and then I'm gonna drain and rinse the, um, I guess it's a box, right? It's not even a can of black beans, the box. And yeah, um, also I found my avocados in the fridge and they're still hard, like very, all of them. It's a whole bag of avocados, very hard. So. I don't know. I guess we're probably not gonna have guacamole because I can't do anything with unripe avocados. I really wanted guacamole though. Maybe I'll run to the store. Or am I being extra? I really want guacamole though. I don't know, I'll let you know. And you can almost never tell that the beans are in there. Look at that. They're not gonna suspect a thing. All right, so here are the girls' plates. So Gio decided he wanted to run to the store because he wanted like soda or whatever. So he grabbed some guacamole and actually some limes for me too. So we now have limes and guacamole. Turn of events. Anyways, um, so these are the girls' plates. I just deconstruct everything for them and then they can eat what they want because I don't feel like sitting here and running a buffet and asking, hey, do you want this? Do you want this? Do you? So I just basically put everything on their trays and then they just eat what they want off of this. So I will show you my bowl. All right, and this is my bowl. I just have a little bit of everything. I have the rice, the meat. I already squeezed my lime on my rice because I wanted the cilantro lime rice. So that's already on there. Got some regular shredded cheese, some of this queso sauce. This is so easy. You literally just squeeze it on there. I like this and I'm going to keep buying this because this is actually super convenient. Wow, why did I? <laughs> I was reading this Loki while I was talking and I thought it said no cap. I didn't see the mess. <laughs> Woo, how you know you're tired. All right, I also put sour cream and then guacamole and then I'm just gonna eat my chips on the side. So this is dinner for Tuesday. Hey y'all, it's Wednesday and tonight for dinner, I'm technically making two dinners. So I have two packs of chicken tenders. I put them in this bowl because as you see, the pack started leaking. So I'm making one pack for the girls. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some fried chicken tenders for them with some mashed potatoes. These are my seasonings that I'm going to use. So I have some tab seasoning, some black pepper, onion powder and complete seasoning. Where's my garlic powder? Anyways, well, that too. Um, and I'm going to fry those up for them. For me, I'm making this recipe that I found called Borson Chicken. I'll show that to you after I do the girls' dinner because I'm not really hungry just yet, so I'm just trying to get them fed first. Okay, so I have my chicken all seasoned, and before anyone says anything, none of the seasonings that I used have salt in it. So yes, it's fine that I'm giving my one-year-old seasoned fried chicken. Like, she'll live. All right, so the directions on the box are to um, basically put some water or milk on the chicken and then put it in the breading mix in a plastic bag. So I actually have like a bunch of Ziploc bags that I can use. So I think we're going to do that method. Normally I would just use a plate and throw the chicken in the breading on the plate and just use my hands, but let's do it mess free and super quick and easy today because I don't have the time or the patience. And then there's that. All right, let me get some milk. Okay, so I have my milk. I'm just gonna pour some over top. Maybe like not a lot. Mix that up just so that all the chicken tenders are wet. All right, that looks good. So now I'm going to take each piece and put it in 
breading. Kind of toss it around so that it doesn't come. So now I'm going to close this up and I'm going to shake it. All right, so I'm actually going to cook this in the air fryer because I don't want to make any more like extra mess and I don't feel like standing there deep frying it. So I'm just going to spray out my pan real quick. It doesn't have to all fit at once. No, Zaini. Don't touch, don't touch, don't touch. No, no. I got it. It's okay. I can do. I can do. Hold on, a minute. Alright, so now all my pieces are in there. I'm just going to lightly spray the tops just so that the tops don't burn. Okay, okay, thank you. And I'm going to, God. Alright, I'm going to put that on 370 for 8 minutes. And then I'm going to check it and flip it and then put it on for another 8. Or so. All right, so here are the girls' plates. So they both have chicken tenders, some mashed potatoes. I also heated up a can of peas, and I gave them half, 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 half of a piece of buttered bread because sometimes they just like that. So I figured I would use up some of the bread that we have. And this is going to be their dinner, and like I said, just stay tuned because I will be making my dinner in a little bit. The rest of their tenders are in the air fryer, though, so there's that. Okay, so it is like really late, but I just realized that I have not eaten anything today, so I have to make something. Um, I was just going to do my typical order out sushi, but I'm really not in the mood for sushi. I really kind of wanted this. I just didn't have it in me to eat earlier. So basically what you need for this is some chicken. So I have some chicken tenders. You can use regular chicken breasts if you want. You just kind of pat it dry and then season it with some salt and pepper very simple and then all the other ingredients you're going to need is some chicken broth or i'm using chicken bouillon you need one and a half cups of chicken broth you need one of these blocks or wheels i don't know what it is is it round or is it square it feels round so one of these things of borson any flavor works um you need some sort of olive oil i'm using the spray and then some minced garlic the girls ate the whole other pack of mashed potatoes, so I'm going to have to make a pack for me. And then I'm using some of these seasoned Brussels sprouts that I found at Trader Joe's just for another side because I don't just want chicken and potatoes. So I'm going to go ahead and get this started and show you guys how it goes. Okay, so here's my chicken all seasoned. And now I'm just adding my oil to the pan. Now I'm just going to drop these in one by one. Oop. Myself there. And I'm just gonna sear them until until I'm going to sear them until they are brown. Alright, so my chicken is almost done. I'm gonna move that to a plate, but I just remember that I had this in the freezer, and I think this would go really, really great with this. So after I move this out of the pan, I'm going to saute this with a little bit of extra minced garlic, and then I'm gonna add my other ingredients. Okay, so my mushrooms and garlic is cooked down a bit, so I'm going to go ahead and add in my chicken broth, and I'm going to heat that until it's boiling and it reduces a bit. This is really like the most time-consuming part of this recipe, is waiting for this liquid to just reduce. OMG. Okay, so I think we're at enough of a reduction. You don't want the liquid all the way gone, or even most of the way gone, probably about halfway. So I put in my Borson cheese. You have to make sure you take this piece off. And I'm just going to keep mixing this down until the cheese all the way melts into the liquid. Okay, so now as you see, my cheese is melted down into that. So now I'm going to go ahead and add back in my chicken. All right, so now this is how it's looking. You could flip the chicken over if you want, but I don't really want to. I kind of want it like that tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and make my plate.
And this is how it looks all plated up. So this is my dinner for Tuesday. I have plenty of leftovers, so I'm gonna just put that in the fridge and probably eat that on Saturday when we have leftover night. Hey everybody, it is Thursday and tonight it's already late, so we're gonna do something very quick and easy. We've got some hot dogs, we got some fries, so I'm gonna throw these in the air fryer. I'm just gonna cook these up on the stove. And these are the biggest bun type breads that I could find to fit these because these are absolutely humongous. They're not like normal sized hot dogs. Um, but yeah, that's it's pretty simple. Pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not even gonna show me cooking it. All right, y'all, so here are the girls' plates. So this is Zuri's plate, pretty plain, pretty simple. They each have a hot dog. Hers is cut up though and not on bread because she won't do the bread. They both have fries, they have some raspberries and some strawberries and some of this cream cheese fruit dip that they love. And Zaylee is my dip girl. So she's my only child that at this age, she loves to dip stuff. So I got her this veggie ketchup. This has tomatoes, butternut squash, and carrots in it. I mean, the ingredients are so clean. It's really ridiculous. And she absolutely loves it. So that's a really great way that I get some extra veggies into her because she's now starting to get picky about colored foods. So there's that, um, that just, it's amazing. I found this, I wanna say at the Fresh Market, but I think they also sell this at Whole Foods too. I'm not a thousand percent sure, but here's the website if you wanna look it up. I'm pretty sure that they give you a list of all the stores that sell their product. So this is going to be their dinner for Thursday. On Friday, we went to Applebee's to start the celebration of Zuri's birthday weekend. I didn't get a picture or even a recording of anybody's food because by the time we got there, everybody was so hungry. We ended up going pretty late because we had a lot of stuff to do after school and after work and all sorts of stuff. So we just went to Applebee's and here's Zuri getting sung happy birthday to. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found some sort of inspiration or something that you definitely wanna try that you maybe haven't before or whatever the case. And yeah, like I said in the beginning, if you haven't already, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody. <laughs>